Hi everyone, it's Shell from Scrap Secrets and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a combined haul from Joann's and Colorado Craft Company. I'm going to show you the stamps first because there's something that I found at Joann's that I think you guys are going to be super excited about, especially if you are fans of sparkle blends. So stay tuned to the end for that. I'll have a little comparison. First, I want to show you what I got from Colorado Craft Company. They had a sale maybe a week or two ago and I bought three Lovely Legs stamp sets and three Big and Bold and they're all Halloween. It was all the Halloween items that were on sale. The first one that I got, the Lovely Legs ones, are the Happy Halloween one. And I think these costume ones are so adorable. It reminds me of the little ballerina ones that they had and I just thought that was really, really cute. So there's that one. And then the next one is Witch's Monkeys. And this reminds me of The Wizard of Oz. I do not like that movie. I probably am one of the only people on the planet that does not like that movie. But for some reason, I could just never get into it. I don't know. But I thought that stamp set was really cute. It does remind me of it a little bit, but I still like it. The next and last Lovely Legs one that I bought is Best Witches. And this one has a little bit of sassier sentiments in it. And I thought this was really cute. It could also be used with this so you can mix the sentiments okay the next three that i bought are the big and bold which are pretty much you stamp this on the background and you really don't need anything else oh this one is called jack-o-lantern really cute pumpkin i thought these would be really good for the girls to use i i know murray for the girls <laughs> But this one I really liked because I could use it, the girls can use it, it's very versatile. The next one, and I know you guys are going to laugh because I just said that I don't like the Wizard of Oz and I bought the Ruby Slippers one. But just because I don't love the movie doesn't mean that I can't do some fun things with this. I have some good ideas for these Ruby Red shoes and I can't wait. So you don't have to make them into Dorothy's shoes, but that's pretty much what they are. And then this last one, I absolutely love. I cannot wait to use this on a card. Uh, I think it's it's probably going to have to be a five by seven because it's so huge. It could also be done on a scrapbook page, which is another great thing that's fantastic. You know, another thing that's great about these stamp sets are these could go very easily on a scrapbook page. And this is called Haunted House. So it's a five by five, so you can put it on a five by seven card. So that's just, I mean, look at that. That would be so cool to watercolor and so lots of ideas for that. Okay, so that's everything that I got from Colorado Craft Company. Now let's switch to Joann's. Oh, well, Joann's had a pretty decent sale today and oops, I got something stuck to the back of this. So I picked up two of these Park Lane paper packs. These are 100 sheets and 110 pound cardstock. So they had a pack there that was open. I kind of felt it because I know that all 110 pound card stocks are not made equally. Um, I think you're supposed to look at the GSM, which I don't believe this has the GSM on here or there's something like that. I'm not really sure. So if you guys know, post down in the comments below. I'm not sure exactly what you're supposed to look for. However, I did feel the paper and it is very, very thick. So these were buy one, get one free. These were $17.99. So they were relatively expensive, but I would never buy them when they were not on sale. But for $18, I got 200 sheets of cardstock and these will be card bases. So now for the thing that I went to Joann's for, because if you guys know, I'm not typically a Joann's shopper. Uh, I've bought some things online from them, but I don't typically go shop there. My store is really, really gotten away from scrapbooking, and so really there's no need for me to go into the store. However, we were tipped off the other night on the Sparkle Blends group that there was a case, because if you guys don't know, let me show you guys. This is the, I believe it's called Elizabeth Crafts storage system so this is a bead storage yes elizabeth oh sorry elizabeth ward and company okay so this is no longer made i believe the company is no longer in existence and these cases are selling somewhere up of like 70 80 sometimes online absolutely insane 
I was not paying that much money for it. Wasn't even going to pay half of that for it. I think I got this one for 20 something dollars and it's fantastic. I'll show you guys the cases because we're going to look. So here's the lid and then inside are all of the little cases and you just flip open the top here. Probably sparkle blends are going to stick to this. I have my sparkle blends in these and then yes, I am ridiculous and I peel off all of the little labels and put them on the bottom. Most other people who are normal, like all of my friends, they will actually use a label maker or something like that and or use the labels that came with it and write on there. Not me. Like, I, who has time for that? So I just literally put the label on the bottom of it. Now I do have other ones that are not actual sparkle blends, but the majority of this case is sparkle blends. So... That being said, I needed another case because I have the entire last release plus some of the stuff that I got just sitting on my desk, some extra, some extra things. Uh, Amber, who is the owner of Sparkle Blends, has uh, a lot of things on sale. Like this was, I love the 80s, and this one was not from the last release, but it was on sale. So I picked up one of these, I picked up some extra things. So anyway, so things like the Silver Bells, which I think I have two of these, Minter is coming, I think I have three of these ones. So I do have some duplicates in here. However, I had nowhere to put them because as you see, my case is totally full. So we were tipped off the other night, someone posted that somebody found something in Joann's that was extremely similar. So I'm gonna show you guys. Hildy and Joe, it's a 78 speed storage system. This is the case. Almost virtually identical to this one. I'll show you guys. The handle is a little bit different. There are 78 cases in there. So I'm going to open it up and see because I've, I've only taken the plastic wrap off the side of it. Okay, so it's a little bit more difficult to open. It's this actually the handle actually clips onto that these other ones are just um, clasps this one actually like clips into that so that's one small difference it's just a little bit harder to open okay so this one is let's see what these cases let me just see if I can feel one okay so a virtually identical case so the lids look the same, the bottoms. Let me find a bottom that doesn't, that I didn't put a sticker on. Let me find a non sparkle blends one. And I know sacrilegious, I have some non sparkle blends things in here. <laughs> here are the bottoms of the cases. Virtually, oh, let's put it this way. Virtually identical. They are the same size. Looks like they will hold the same amount of product. So, very excited about these. Best part was, it was $39.99, which is, for me, I feel like super expensive. Oh, wait, the little, there's a little extra piece here. This is a little different, the little front to it. Looks like it's a little bit, oh no, wait, it's the exact same. It just looks like it had some extra uh, plastic on there. However, made in China the other ones are made in China so there we go oh so like I was saying it was $39.99 which I would never pay for this I think that's ridiculous but I had a 50% off coupon so picked this up for about $20 overall not bad it looks like it's virtually the same with the exception of the closures on the side so I think that that's a winner. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be putting all of these extra sparkle blends in here. And now I have another case and another place to buy them because I was not paying $70 online. So if you guys are looking for any type of storage, not just for sparkle blends, but you know, sparkle blends are fantastic. Uh, I don't work for them. I don't get anything from them, but I will leave a link below to their Etsy shop because they do have some very, very cute things. Let me just show you. They just did their release. Um, I'm doing this on Sunday. I'll probably put this up Monday or Tuesday, but they just had their release for September and it is 
holiday stuff. And this, this is not one of them. This is one of the ones that I believe was on sale. But it's super cute. Put little candy canes in it. This is just mint. This is mint is coming. But they're really, really adorable blends. If you have any type of embellishments that are tiny like this that you need a way to keep track of, this is great. So it's called Hildy and Joe Bead Organization System. So there you go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I will get back to you. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you again real soon in my next video. Bye.